Ja, hello and welcome to our Banter Blitz show. Almost on time, like one minute late. I think that it's kind of within acceptable uh, margins. Yeah, let's get some more games in. Um, let's go for... <laughs> Randomly. I'm not Captain Coca-Cola. I've played him before in the German show. 717296 from Russia, it seems. Let's get going. 717296 or not. So, yep. Benko. The Benko. He does not accept this challenge. So we get an English. I don't like the e5 gambits. Knight c6, I think, is uh, good. But uh, the capture doesn't look super challenging, and my center is strengthened that way. Looks a bit time consuming. Knight f3, d4, c6. Hmm. And now it takes a really long time. <clears throat> Sometimes a bit, um, bit strange yeah, to see the time spent <clears throat> on a single move. I thought that knight c3 or g3 would be almost automatic. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is slightly, slightly compromised. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a good question there by Olaf. Is there an opening for black where you don't uh, really need to know how to play chess? Um, no. Honestly, no. I mean, you have different kinds of, um, let's say, emphasis in openings where certain skill sets are maybe more important than others. This is definitely true. I, whoa, really? He's playing long castling here. Okay, play queen a5. Um, the different skill sets, yeah. It is, um, um, there are openings, let's say, that are more based on calculation um, ability than on anything else, where you probably need to know less pawn structures, for example. I mean, if you play, um, let's say, the close the Rouleau Pass as, a, as an example, um, you absolutely have to know fluid, complicated pawn um, structures. But if you... Um, in comparison, play, let's say, the Grunfeld, your calculation ability is far more important because the Grunfeld is usually only having a couple of pawn structures that can arise, a um, couple of central structures depending on the lines, but it's really relatively narrow. But um, if you play the closed Rui, you have so many different pawn structures. Um, you just need to know some of them at least and know how you uh, should proceed there and you don't need such knowledge in an opening like the Grunfeld for example there you have to know the theory and calculate precisely um, I think um, there are some other examples it's just what what came to mind um, 
Yeah, 717296. He's spending ages here. That will not be easy for him in the long run if he takes so much time. Okay, so here I can check. Check and take the pawn. I have a question about the French defense. Is the French a balance between defense and attack, pawn structures and pawn breaks? Uh, the French defense is strategically um, complicated, really complicated, but you also need to be a good tactical player because in many cases um, it is a struggle against the strong center that white sometimes has. And um, you have to be quite... Um, yeah, quite active, quite um, direct in your play. I never really played the French defense well. I played it often, but not really well. Okay, so how am I going to handle this? Yeah? Probably just a queen move. I, I don't see a direct tactic, even though White's position makes a really shaky impression here. Yeah, everything else fails. Grab material. Taking that rook. Okay, thanks for the game 717296. Yeah, I still have a game against Simba open, and I'm going to do that. Uh, I tried to play them in the German show, but it didn't work. So let's do it here. Simba. Play the French, please. Is knight e, e sorry, is knight g seven good in the Spanish after a six? Yeah, mm, yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting line. I'm not really sure if you could say it is good, but. Uh, it's interesting. Quite, um, quite complicated. What happened here? Knight c3 obviously wasn't a good idea. I mean, e6 is pretty bad actually. And then I play knight c3 and justify it. Ah, not good. Ah, <clears throat> I cannot take now. After knight takes, this is pretty awful. really have a good move here. Yeah, so that was my idea. And it actually gets some justification.
Yeah, and queen to b8, eh? you have to do it? No, this one. And now this one. Eh? <clears throat> Attacking b7. Maybe he can take b3. No, he can take b3 here. Yeah. Threatens also b2, but I can recapture. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not such a great way here to play. Let's attack the uh, the knight there. Also knight e to c four possible. Not that clear what he should do now. If he moves the knight. A seven is also hanging. Okay, so he opens this. I actually forgot that he can do that. That's pretty awful. Yeah, I mean, I think it's still good, yeah. But I didn't really see this correctly beforehand. Does he have rook d8? That would be... <laughs> I don't really understand sometimes. Yeah, people just like... Somehow... Um, miracle move. You have miracle moves. Huh? Otherwise black is just totally, oh, it's just totally busted. Yeah. Still have some pressure, I hope. You can still pressurize black a little bit because the bishop is just strong. Mm. And now two pawns are hanging, great. Great. Weird. What was wrong with bishop c6? Yeah, it didn't look good, yeah? That was wrong with it.
Yeah, it's uh, very drawish, of course. I decided to play on time. Okay. <laughs> wow, nicely done. Okay. It's, you can always play this on time, of course, 20 against 20 seconds. Um, okay, who else is on? A 2.35, I haven't played him before. Okay, let's see what Arturo is um, doing here. an English opening. Let's try a sideline with A3, which is quite interesting. White now has some ideas to activate the bishop. Bishop to e4, that's an idea. And, uh, okay. I might. Might uh, have something aggressive going for him now. Yeah, well played. Black is black is centralizing his uh, his forces. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, where is he going with this bishop? I have this idea to take on c6, of course. Takes with the rook, hmm, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, this is uh, quite okay, I think, for me. Got um, the king is centralized. this up. I'm not sure if this is the best strategy to be honest. Maybe not, yeah, now that I think of it again. Yeah, 
Yeah, this ending is a bit better for white. Yeah, I've got more space on the king side and can advance those pawns quite um, quite easily. It's a good move, though. Okay, that's a bit surprising. It looks like this is a weak pawn. And it was not quite necessary to, uh, to allow. Simba, how old are you? I just I'm just interested. Okay. Oh, fine then. <laughs> He's 13. That's really good. Yeah, I'm trying to, to do something here with my active king. Mm. But of course, he's got the, the B pawn. Mm. See, those pawns are dangerous. It should be enough, actually. Okay, thanks for the game, Arturo. That was tough. At the end, those pawns were a bit too strong, but you played it well. Okay, so who else is on? Akartiak? No, not for, not right. <laughs> yeah, Simba is from The Lion King. I never saw that movie. Did I miss something? Okay, we have a, um, a modern defense here by my opponent. Oh, well, that gets me to show a, a well-known opening trap. And that's it for the queen. Funny. Yeah, that's a well-known opening trap. Thanks for the game, Akartiak. Actually, I can tell you a little story. I had uh, I had this position uh, 
once on the board in, in a tournament game against international master Boosboom from the Netherlands and he actually had written this on his short score sheet already. I mean, it was a slightly different move order. So if you want to be very, very precise, it was uh, this move order, this, and not exactly. But in this position, he already had written bishop g7 and and then noticed that it would have blundered. That would have been funny. <laughs> and then he played knight b6 and, uh, and avoided the immediate loss. He had it already written on the score sheet back uh, in the time when it was already... Um, when that was still allowed okay so i am a star i think is how to translate that yeah, going with e4 let's play the the tarash. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It's a, it's a couple of years. Uh, it was a couple of years ago. Maybe it was already not allowed by then. But he had the, he had it written, and uh, he had it, um, had his hand already <laughs> on the board, and was about to play it. Yeah, <laughs> and then he uh, kind of crossed it out and played a different move. Asks, are you active player CE? Um, yeah, I still play tournament chess. I do, or other tournaments uh, like Rapid and so on. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm mostly a chess teacher, but I um, also play some games. That game against Boosboom, uh, that was really, really bad. I had, um, I had uh, uh, a, a totally, a really totally winning position. The engine, I think it was on plus four or so. And I managed to uh, uh, just play a draw <laughs> at the end. No, my game was definitely after 2008. Something like... 2012-2013 something like that it was definitely I mean he probably did not uh, follow the rules there correctly but anyway, I'm not going to protest yeah no no, no you, you could um, you were allowed to write down moves before you play them. When I started with chess, definitely that was how I always uh, did it. Um, yes, most of my chess lessons are online on uh, via Skype. I also do some over the board lessons, of course, but uh, nowadays most is uh, on Skype. Um, I'd like to go h4, h5, but it's not easy to do. He will probably always just take it. And I don't know, the doubling here, hmm. I don't know. I'm not threatening all that much. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, he's got bishop a6 coming. That that's really not good, yeah. Not happy about it. Um, we, we are certainly allowed to talk about FIDE Grand Prix results. I don't think, why, why shouldn't we be? Uh, the problem is uh, I have no idea what the results are. I, I mean, those, those morons from Argon or whatever they are called, they managed to uh, just completely make a cloak and dagger operation out of a tournament. Nobody will watch it because nobody wants to pay that ridiculous fee. So I have no idea how the standings are. <laughs> really, I have no idea. Who's leading? I have absolutely no idea what it is. Yeah, I'm, I've won a pawn, <laughs> but it is not so easy. Absolutely not. So what to do? I think this makes sense. Get some get some uh, piece centralized and maybe uh, this one. Yeah, now queen g th uh, f3 was the idea. Yeah, those Argon people just don't know, uh, don't know what to do. I mean, they have no idea what they're doing. Uh, the thing is, I think they actually charge quite a bit for this tournament. And the simple fact is absolutely nobody cares about this friggin' Grand Prix. Nobody does. I mean, it, it's just something that... It has no tradition whatsoever, and of course, it is uh, used for the qualification spots for the World Championships. And that's all nice and good, but who cares? Who cares about a series of tournaments? It just is not interesting, and you cannot yeah. charge um, lots, uh, charge money for that for for viewing the games. That's. Uh, just a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, thanks for the game. I am a star. I think you defended this well. Dumayan. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, those Argon people are weird. I mean, they are really weird. I mean, they are involved now for a couple of years in, in this business. And uh, I, I visited the 2013 um, London Candidates Tournament. And uh, those people from Argonne were, were there. And sometimes um, you would... I think Andrew Paulson was one of the people. I think he was the boss at the time. I don't know. I don't know if he still is. But um, you would sometimes uh, listen to what they were saying, and it was like, I don't know, they had really no clue what they're doing. Yeah, so this is a, an opening sideline that. Uh, 
I prepared in the German Junior Championships or Youth Championships. It's it's quite uh, dangerous for black actually. Black goes h5, so we're going to push this. And now. Can you do that? Why is the King's Indian attack out of fashion against this opening? Hmm. It's not super dangerous, you know. And I don't think it ever was in fashion. It's certainly a line that you can uh, that you can play absolutely, but um, it's not something that would be very much in the focus of uh, theoreticians. E five. I have ninety five. Okay, here name knight a4, I guess. Or do we have something better? Let's take this and now what about his knight there? Black has no development. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Yeah, Fischer played the King's Indian attack against e6, yes. He had some really, really good games with it. Okay, what about my game here? Do I win e5? It looks a little bit like it. Maybe he can play queen to b4, so after bishop takes, queen takes e4, but I think I can take g7, it should not work. I think the king's Indian attack here with, with d3 um, is interesting if you, are, if you are white and you want a, a complicated middle game without uh, sharp theoretical lines, it's, uh, it's not not a bad thing to do. You're not going to be better uh, often, but um, it's a good uh, practical try. Yeah, thanks for the game, Dumayan. So, let's play against Sagla is the name, right? <laughs> okay, and I go e4. And uh, Let's see what he has in store against the king's gambit. He plays the the um, the modern line. I have to be aware that this is a three-minute game. That's really important. I should not uh, <laughs> look at the clock with the ten seconds on. Yeah, the delayed <clears throat> Alapine against e6, c3 on move uh, 3. Yeah, this is an interesting choice. It's something that I also recommend sometimes. Yeah, this looks like I think I didn't play this too well. Yeah, black played this very well. Yeah, I know about the uh, chess explained bingo. It is funny. <laughs> Yeah, 
Knight g5 is going to play e2. I'm not sure I'm threatening much. Oh. Now I have to I have to do this. Now I have to. So <clears throat> Okay, I can take e3, but that doesn't help. This uh, <clears throat> hangs, c5 hangs, f6 hangs. Yeah, I can take e3 now. Maybe he, gen he then moves the king. Let's take it. Uh, okay, so here I think I'm mating him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was probably not the most correct attack ever, but it was a, a fun, a fun king's uh, gambit. Okay, thanks for playing Sagla. Namesake, who is the namesake? This is fine, Shaba says, okay. Yeah, I heard that uh, Grandmaster Vladimir Malanyuk uh, passed away. He, um, he, uh, died some days ago I knew that he had some serious health issues I don't know exactly what it was but I I read it somewhere for a while he didn't play um, that many tournaments I think he was also an active poker player Yeah, I think this particular line is not that great for black against the London. Not that it is terrible, but I think it doesn't really um, equalize fully. The reason is that I got to get this in, this E4 push. And that is otherwise somewhat difficult to play. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Chala is not playing. Yeah, I'm basically threatening to take, take on c4, it seems. Whoa. I think I'm doing this. 
Um, Son of Soros. So, so, <laughs> I need a beer. Yeah, maybe. There's an interesting discussion in the chat. Is it easier to play a closed position or an open position in a in a blindfold game? Um, I don't know, really. I don't know. I think um, it is definitely helpful for the blindfolded player um, to play something that is familiar, he or she is familiar with. I have no real experience with blindfold games. I've played the odd game for fun, but okay. So he is sacrificing a piece there, really. Was that necessary? No. Okay, so I'm going to take the piece. My whole position is a little bit loose though. Okay, so <clears throat> the G1 is hanging. Let's take this first. Now I can move the knight and will move the knight. I guess here. I can castle long. He actually has two pawns, yeah, for the piece. It's still playable in a blitz game. But you should hurry up a little bit. <laughs> the time is... Uh, playing a role here. Yeah, d5 is hanging. Okay, so he pushes it. Yeah, I can take c4, which looks like it should help me a bit. Can I take? I can take here, right? Okay. And now I'm attacking f7 and uh, the queen trade. If he trades, I think um, this is more or less a piece up for nothing. Yeah, he has no way to cover f7 and keep the queens on. Okay, thanks for playing Shala. <laughs> Good game. So who else is on? Vesmantilas. Have you, no, no, haven't played him yet. So um, let's go e4. I should reply. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's going to. What is that picture? Yeah, some something from physics probably. <laughs> okay, so uh, like three, two, one, zero. Okay. 
Okay, let's terminate that. <clears throat> I cannot pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going for a knight f6 pre move. And see what white is going to do against it. <laughs> Yeah, there seem to be a couple of <clears throat> challenges. Okay, so G three. So I'm going to try to make some direct pressure here. That wasn't probably the best line now that I think of this a little bit more closely. But quickly played. I think knight b5 was more dangerous to be honest. Now I have a very quick development. I, th I expect him to castle long now. There is some small likelihood of Bowden's mate to be <clears throat> to be on the board. Queen takes c3 is very close here. How do you uh, keep this pressure on? I mean, okay, after a3 I can take and somehow have the better position, but it doesn't look extremely convincing. <laughs> Try to keep the initiative. Eh? Now castling will be difficult. And I don't quite know what his move is. We decided to take. Yeah. So he's sacrificing a pawn. Um do I I think I want to take actually. Keep this initiative. Maybe I should have taken c3, but this way I have a really good d-file control. Rook d2 next. Tries to play rook d1, but I can do this now. <laughs> Omkar, Omkarts, I know. Ask if I've ever sacrificed a queen in a classical game. Yeah, sure. If you play enough games, you <laughs> it will happen. Even if you are the most boring player ever, yeah? even then. <laughs> So, 
on you. Let's attack here. Attack F2. Threatening H3. Let's see how he defends that. H3 is pretty serious, yeah. Okay. Um, and trick now here or queen d3 that was my original idea king g1 though queen b1 was playable but then i can take and take a2 which is not fantastic but uh Still quite quite annoying. Mm. Yeah, maybe I should have played this differently <laughs> and not allowed him this queen. Queen activity, queen e4 now looks like a good move. Probably not great what I did here. Yeah, I'm still probably better just for before because of the material. Oh, I didn't think he can do that. I forgot queen e5 is the thing that was the blitz, not good. Uh, shoot. Yeah, queen e5 is good. Just good. Yeah, then my idea was complete rubbish. Thank you. 
I know that F and H pawn, but I also have some time, some time advantage. Yeah, he he resigned. Yeah, that was tough. Him, he, he defended this very, very, uh, very, very stubbornly. Thanks for the game. Uh, I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so um, shall I play Shelling Ford? Just like once. <laughs> My form today does this does this not really um yeah doesn't look like uh, yeah <laughs> okay not that this is terrible in any way just uh, it's not what I wanted to have. <laughs> Is that good for white? I don't I never understand this opening. Good question. How do you think Kasparov will do in the upcoming tournament? This is the rapid and uh, blitz uh, thing in St. Louis. Um, considering the field, I think he will finish in the upper half, but how much? It's not easy to say. I think uh, it is a strong tournament for sure, but it does not have the absolute uh, elite blitz players, all of them. And um, um, I mean, Carlson is not playing, and I think uh, Nakamura is also not playing. I'm, I'm not totally certain. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting fairly optimistic now. <laughs> I think uh, some things didn't go all that well for white. Okay, so... Just taking it. So how to win this now? Queen B2. And Nakamura is playing, but MVL is not playing, I think. Hmm, 
I, th I feel like I'm not getting the best out of this. get this total chaos very often simply swindles me I didn't see this friggin move. This is such so annoying. And it was ah, come on, let's not get there. It was such an utterly winning position. And now we, we are in complete chaos territory again. I might be okay here, but it's not what I should have. The game should be over by now. G6. I don't believe this stuff. And uh, G6. I didn't see it simply. It's complete chaos. Complete chaos. Rook f4 and then take h3. Okay, I don't think I can bungle it up anymore. <laughs> wow. That was complete, complete chaos uh, from start to finish. Yeah, thank for the, thank for the entertaining game shelling. Whew. Whew. I do Mabel. Okay. Yeah, castles was funny, <laughs> but it was still possible. <laughs> it was legal. <laughs> What's good there? So, I wonder if some knight b5 <clears throat> might be an idea against knight c6. So Yeah, in do Mabel, not I do Mabel. <clears throat> so what is he trying here? Queen d2.
I'm looking like MVL today. How does MVL look like? He's got more hair. That's that, that I know. No, I don't want to. Easily allow him the bishop trade, but at the end he gets it in. <clears throat> bishop h6. Very happy here. Queen g7 is an extremely annoying thing. Can I go a4 here? Very weird, very weird position. Knight b5 and knight c4 might happen. Hmm. Queen a5, knight b5, maybe this one. doesn't threaten that much, but now I have b5. I wouldn't be totally surprised if he has some, some, uh, something winning with knight takes d6 here. Yeah? It would be actually quite uh, quite understandable. So <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> I can promote and then check on C2. So, how to do it? Um, I don't really have a good square. I'm still not <laughs> playing with all the pieces. I thought 96 is probably good the whole time. Oh, knight c7 is also very strong. totally did not see that how bad this is <laughs> uh,
Mm, you can just take on e7 and should win. There's also always queen g7. The funny thing is that I'm uh, actually even a pawn down, yeah. It's not like White uh, has sacrificed material for this position. Something like Queen G7, I uh, probably. Okay. Still amazingly bad, this thing. Knight c7, queen d6 is actually winning for me, but. Phew. I don't see a mate at the moment, but. Toast can check there, but what does it do? didn't even see that. Oh! <laughs> ah, come on, where's the resign button? Yeah. Uh, oh my god, no, that was a total disaster. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I made it, yeah. I'm just made it. Ooh, okay, so one more game and then I call it quits for today. It was a really long session. Either fix 23, I am I have not won against him. Yes, lost the game. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's see if I can increase my score and they troll you with the Italian I uh, here I can get H65 and yeah thanks for the game in do Mabel <clears throat> that was a really funny game. Looks like he did not expect G5.
I played a six. It's a it's a good line. Nothing wrong with it. Maybe you can also play d5. You seem to know it well. I have no idea really. <clears throat> this attack, your that attack is sound. It's of course <clears throat> it is very interesting at least. So let's see how to play here. Queen f6 I would like to play, but then he plays knight d5. Queen b3. Yeah, now I can think of queen f6 as f3 is hanging. Let's do it. Aha. So <clears throat> I can castle long here. All of a sudden. And now try to bring the hammer down on white. Okay, this is hanging. Yeah, I don't care about F7. Not with all the pieces attacking. So play knight a5 of course yeah but I just thought I should have something better I don't find it though That's not a good, and it wasn't good, yeah, allowing this. Yeah, he escaped from this, from this position. He really escaped, yeah. have a good move here.
trying for queen h3. Yeah, that's a move I did not see beforehand. Wow, what a disappointing game. Yeah, it made on B7. It's always tough to lose against this line because it really is bad for white. But I'm, I'm kind of curious there because it's, this must be just terrible for white. It's just terrible. I have the G file open and white's position is just bad. But I played this badly. I really played it badly. Here, here. I probably have to start to think earlier. But I cannot believe I'm not good here. I mean, and then he takes f7. I mean, that, that, that can never work. I really don't understand how that works. How can that not work? I mean, it's clear that uh, here I should have taken on f5 probably or so. But I still don't, don't get this really. How can I can I do this here with the computer? I really wonder. Yeah? It doesn't give me anything substantial, which is kind of crazy. It has an awful reputation to allow this this thing for white. Which either here I thought that must be really terrible for white. And uh, bishop h5, that's a very, very cool move. Uh, rook f4. Very, very tough. Very nicely played. Okay, um, so I cannot really do this properly here with the, with the way it is set up. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for the... Um, thanks for watching the show. I think it was uh, in interesting, lots of interesting games. Uh, now it's completely screwed up this window here yeah? should maybe go back to not let it be totally terrible thanks for watching i hope you you liked it it was a very um up and down um up and down uh, uh, show today um but i think it was entertaining yeah thanks uh, to all of you i'll be back next week i think with the same schedule thanks for watching guys bye bye